Hey guys, it's Josh with Budget Mechanic. And I know a lot of people when their car starts running rough, um, has no power going up hills, maybe the check engine light comes on or is even flashing, they think it's something really serious, so they take their car into the mechanic and end up paying a lot of money for something that could have been easy to diagnose and fix themselves. Oftentimes these symptoms are caused by what's called a cylinder misfire on one or more cylinders. And these can be caused by many different things, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps for diagnosing and taking care of the most common and easy to solve misfire culprits. Okay, step one, you wanna get your codes read. If you don't have a code reader, I highly recommend getting one. Uh, they're really handy to have when you're working around cars. If you don't wanna shell out for one, a lot of auto parts stores will read your codes for free. This is a random misfire code, just sort of a generic means your engine's misfiring. Then sometimes you'll get specifics, which is what we're looking for. Uh, cylinder 5 is misfiring, for example. Further down, cylinder 1 is misfiring. So I know that that's my problem for the rough running. So keep in mind when you're reading your codes, if you have a misfire, chances are it's probably also going to throw some other codes. But I really recommend you don't worry about those. You move forward with a misfire to step 2. If you don't have any misfire codes at all, it's probably going to be another issue. And there may be a budget fix for it, but we'll have to cover it in another video. By far the most common reason I see for misfire codes is spark plugs. So often people forget to replace them, they get old, and they start causing problems. So step two is going to be removing your spark plugs, and there's a couple things we want to check before we replace them. Now that I have my spark plugs pulled out, I can check them out. One thing I'm looking for is oil. If there's oil on these threads or even up here um, above the shaft, I know that oil has been leaking into the spark plug tubes and that can foul the spark plug and cause a misfire, lots of blue smoke when you start up. Um, but these ones look dry. Now I'm looking at the electrode itself on the spark plug and I can see that's our problem. On this old one, compared to the new one, this gap is almost twice as large as what it's supposed to be, which will lead to uh, bad gas mileage, low power, and eventually a misfire. These electrodes here on a lot of them are all pointy, they're all worn down. So these spark plugs are in really rough shape. They should have been replaced a long time ago. So even if your spark plugs don't look as bad as this, I would highly recommend you replace all of them anyway, because it's pretty cheap to do. You've got them out anyway, and often they can have problems internally that you can't actually see. So step three is gonna be, let's put in some new plugs. Now that you have your new spark plugs in, the first thing you want to do is clear those engine codes using your code reader or just disconnect your battery for 10 minutes or so. Then take it for a test drive, drive it up a hill and see if the symptoms are gone and if the check engine light stays off. If so, you fixed your problem. So after changing your spark plugs, if your car is still running rough or that check engine light is coming back on with misfire codes, I find the next most common problem is ignition coils usually look something like this and you want to track down if one of these are bad. Fortunately we've already made a video on how to diagnose coils and we're gonna put a link to that in the description. So step four, let's go watch the video. So hopefully following these steps will help take care of your misfiring issues. If not, there are a number of other reasons that this could be happening. Uh, blown head gasket, injectors, uh, valve problems, but those can be a little bit trickier to diagnose. But I've found that these steps will address most of your misfiring issues. Thanks for watching guys, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.